Okay, so a lot of people don't understand percent as well as they think. Matter of fact, if you think you are an expert in percent, well, you should be able to solve this nice math word problem without too much difficulty. But let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. The price of a new house went up 30%. If the house cost $275,000, what was the old original price? Okay, so obviously we're talking about percent. Feel free to use a calculator. And another uh, kind of comment here, uh, there is a couple different approaches you can take to figure out this problem. And uh, I'm not going to make any particular judgment on how you interpret the problem and what kind of method, as long as you understand what you're doing and you're not guessing. All right, so if you have your answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to walk through this problem step by step. I'm actually going to do this problem wrong uh, to kind of show you what I believe is going to be a very common mistake that many of you are going to make. All right, so I'm going to get to all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning mathematics as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, the price of a new house went up 30%, and of course, this is not uh, too unrealistic. But actually, 30% is not so bad because home prices, as you probably well know, have gone up tremendously over the last few years. But uh, anyways, the price of this new house went up 30%. If the house now costs 275,000, what was the old price before this increase? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So I, this, I believe, is going to be the two most common answers. Now, obviously, one is right and one is wrong. Okay, so what did you come up with? Well, if you're looking at your answer right now and you came up with this answer, unfortunately, you're going to get the sad face, all right? This is incorrect, but this is probably a very common uh, answer uh, because a lot of people did this wrong and they did it in a way such that they got this answer. Matter of fact, I'm going to duplicate that work in just one second. So obviously, this is the correct answer. And if you got this answer, well, we have to celebrate with a nice little happy face in A plus A 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of percent. And that is excellent as percent problems are everywhere in the real world. If there's one thing you want to understand about mathematics in terms of practical mathematics, that is percent. But no despair, okay, if you got this wrong, uh, in a few minutes you'll be looking like this. So let's go ahead and get into this problem right now. And as I uh, promised, I am going to do this problem wrong, okay? Now, there's probably other ways you can do this problem and, uh, you know, incorrectly, but let's go ahead and first make sure we understand uh, what's going on here. So this is a math word problem. I always like to use the rule of three. In other words, read the problem three times. Really make sure you understand what's going on. But again, what we have here is a new house, okay? It went up 30% and now it costs $275,000. What was that original price? How much did it cost before this home went up 30%? So, uh, you know, you want to try to model this problem, and I'm going to show you what I think is a good model here in a second, but clearly we're dealing with percent, and we need to understand how to find the, uh, how to find the percent of a number, okay? So just basic percent, and let's go ahead and think about this. Now, again, this is going to be the wrong approach, but this is a kind of a, like a logical approach. If you didn't really know, uh, you know the exact solution, obviously, you might, you might think this. Let me go ahead and show you. Uh, the uh, wrong work here, per se. So here is the cost of the house. So someone might say to themselves, all right, well, it went up 30%, so maybe if I take 30% of that cost of the house and uh, figure that out, so 30% of $275,000, how do you find 30% of a number or percent of a number? Well, what we need to do is uh, change that percent to a decimal, okay? So 30% as a decimal, 
the way you can uh, you change percent into a decimal is you divide by 100, but effectively that just means um, you're going to move the decimal point over two places to the left. So if you have 30.0 percent, this as a decimal, uh, the result of dividing by 100 is effectively just move the decimal point over two places to the left. So 30 percent or 30.0 percent is the same thing as a decimal, 0 0.30 or 0.3. Okay, so we're going to uh, take that decimal equivalent of 30%, which is, of course, 0 0.30. We'll multiply by 275, and we come up with 82,500. So, again, this logic could be like, well, all right, well, if this house went up to uh, this current home for 275,000, went up 30%, let's go ahead and calculate what 30% of 275 is. Of course, we have this answer, and then let's subtract that away from the original cost, right? So here's the original uh, cost of the house, 275. We'll back away 30% of that, and maybe this is the original amount. Now, you know, on the surface of this, this seems somewhat logical, but this is wrong. Now, how do we know it's wrong? Well, we can check, right? So let's go ahead and take this uh, price, and this doesn't seem so, um, you know, off in terms of being a possible answer. Like 192,500. Well, okay, that seems somewhat reasonable, but let's check our work here. Let's suppose we did have a house and the house price was 192,500. Now, let's suppose uh, that this house goes up, uh, this house for this price goes up 30%. So, what does that mean? Well, we have to take 30% of this house price. So, this is going to be uh, 0 0.30 or 0 0.3 of the 192,500. So 30% of this uh, price is going to be 57750 Okay, this right here is a 30% increase. That's how much it's worth. So let's tack this on to this price. So if we take our 192500 plus this 57750 we get 250250 Now this is not what we're looking for, right? Uh, this is not the 275,000. So this price right here, if it was 192,500, if that goes up 30%, well, your uh, new price is going to be 250, uh, 250, uh, not the 275,000. So what do we do here? Well, we're going to use some algebra to solve this percent problem. Algebra is an excellent uh, tool to solve more interesting percent problems like this one right here. Now, again, you, uh, algebra is only one method to solve percent problems. There's other techniques. And if you got this answer uh, correct, in other words, if you're able to solve this problem and you did it in your own way, that's perfectly fine as long as you weren't guessing. Okay, so let's go to take the next step, which of course is to uh, do two things. Now, the first one is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, uh, this is really, really helpful for me because it uh, helps me with my goal of reaching as many people that are interested in math or need help in mathematics. So by you doing this, it really does help that algorithm. And if you're going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. Now, a lot of you out there um, might be watching this video just because you're generally interested in mathematics. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I would like to kind of rebuild some of my math skills that I learned way back, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, or maybe even more. Well, I have the perfect little course for you, and this is kind of a custom course for those of you that uh, kind of want to rebuild uh, your math skills that you forgot uh, many years ago, okay? But it's still there. It's kind of like riding a bike. But I'm going to leave a link to my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Now, in this course, okay, you're going to learn basic math, like uh, arithmetic, all the stuff that you kind of um, generally learn in elementary school. You're going to learn a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, even basic trigonometry and basic probability and statistics. So if you're interested in this course, you'll find a link to it in the description below, along with uh, links to my other main courses like algebra, geometry. But this particular course kind of condenses in a lot of the uh, kind of main elements of a full geometry course, algebra course, etc. So if you want to really uh, relearn math, this is the perfect course for you. All right, so let's get back to this problem. And here is uh, this cost, right? So we have $275,000 house, okay? This is the price after it went up 30%. So how can we solve this? Well, again, let's use algebra. 
So we're going to let this variable x represent the old price. Now, algebra, again, is an excellent uh, tool to solve percent problems. So if we let x equal the old price, well, then what is the model of a 30% increase? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. So we have x. This is the old original price. But we're going to add on 30% uh, of the uh, actual old price. So if the old price is X, we got to find 30% of that old price, which so that's going to be 0.3 of that old price or 0.3 X. So 0.3 X, this is right here, the 30% increase, but we have to add it to the old price right here. And we know that this 30% increase plus the old price is going to be $275,000. All right, so here is just a basic algebraic equation. We need to solve for x, and again, once we solve for x, it indeed will be uh, the old original price. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So we have 0.3x plus x is equal to two seven, uh, 275,000. Now right here, this x is really a one, so these are like terms, so we can simply um, add 0.3 and one, so we're gonna get 1.3x is equal to 275,000, and then here all we need to do is divide the uh, both sides of the equation by 1.3. So 275,000 divided by 1.3, we get x is equal to 211,538. 211,538, and of course this is in dollars. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our work here. This is the correct answer, but let's suppose we're like, well, how do I know this is right? Well, let's go ahead and check it just as we check the other work on that uh, wrong um, solution. So here, let's suppose is our original price. So let's um, uh, tack on a 30% increase on this price. So what we're gonna do is find 30% of 211,538. And I just, uh, I'm gonna skip the math here, but all I did was take this number, multiply it by 0.3, and you get this number. Okay, so 30% of this 211,538 is 63,461. Now, when I add these two together right here, the original price plus 30% of the original price, what do I get? I get 274,999, which is pretty close to that $275,000 mark that we were looking for. Okay, so if you didn't get this right, don't despair. In case you never feel bad about uh, getting any math problem wrong, okay? Or making any mistake in, uh, in math. And, you know, in, in my opinion, in life as well, we all make mistakes, but the key is to learn from those mistakes, okay? And if you're going to learn any math, uh, make sure you learn percent because this is everywhere. We simply can't even go outside the house or pick up your phone. Think about how often you see this percent symbol throughout the day, okay? Whether it's uh, the news talking about inflation and interest rates or you're looking at credit card uh, interest rates or looking at a, a sale you know this symbol is everywhere so if there's one thing you want to learn about mathematics uh, it is definitely percent okay so with all that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day